right, finally, and by no means least, Eilon Kinnishad, um, Hill Gerig's finest, Bethan Jenkins. I'm dear for having been shot at a protest heavy. Traveled me very well, rose on it again, and I've deep, nether, a magam, and plagir and hines, and half busy word in Dayog, he delivered in Hinol, not even Kundifioli, for the Denival Camry. My boy Sigiboni and Mahavio, he sicker high with Pobble, and my bottle, or beef and Indian ew, were in yes. In Bodney and Wells Camry, go in Yethol. Tinadu Pobble, she's ready to call again, many good voice, she's then ready to call a Hethol, and Ternasi Drostom. I'm really pleased to be speaking here today and thank you for asking me to speak at this protest. While a large number of dignitaries in Cardiff, Merthyr and Margam bow to the Queen, happy to be subjects to the royal family who are not representatives of the people of Wales, it is important that we are here today to ensure the people are aware exactly what republic republicanism is. We want to see a Wales where people do not reign over us just because they happen to have been born into a certain family who have never been elected to anything in their lives. Marai Pobol wedi Bernadi a brotis dyma ac era i sydd yn digwydd ar draws Cymru. Marai wedi Bernadi defnydd y term hanesyddol Murth Rising. Ond ys ydym yn cofio un oedd tri un, lle roedd banner sosialaeth wedi cael ei chwifio am y tro cyntaf yr oed. Os ydym yn cofio brwyd yn y bobl yn erbyn y crosheys ar guests, a oedd yn teulu brynhunol y cyfnod, yn rheoli dros bobl fy nghartref genedigol, yn y mae'n hoffro berthnasol i ni'n y dyddio'r teitl yn ein protest yma heddiw. Some people have criticised the protests and others that are taking place. Some have criticised the historical use of the term Merth Rising. But if we remember 1831, when a red flag of socialism was flown for the first time, if we remember the workers who battled against Crochet and the guest family of the period, who ruled this town, controlling the people of my hometown with their wealth, then it is entirely relevant to use the title here today in this protest against the Jubilee celebrations. Os ydym yn credu mewn democratiaeth, yn ynni fedrwng clydfori monarchiaeth, mae holl gysyniad y sefydliad yn mynd i wrthyn yr hyn er ydym yn ceisio dyblygu mewn Cymru datgonaledig cryf. Sefydliad i'r monarchiaeth nad sydd yn perthyn i'r unfed ganddi fyr higen. Mae elodau syneddol nawr yn trafod sydd ar gwyddi, a rhai o blaid ethol sydd ar gwyddi cant y cant. Pan felly ydy'r teulu fy'n hunol i'w chlaw newidiadau cyfansoddiadol o'r fath. If we believe in democracy, then we can't celebrate the monarchy and all it represents. The whole concept of the institution conflicts with what we are trying to develop in a strong, devolved Wales. It does not belong to the 21st century. MPs are now discussing in the House of Commons the House of Lords reform, and many, many are in favour of fully elected House of Lords. So why is the royal family above such constitutional changes? Do you have credit to the level of where it is where Cyfion hai o hyd ac o hyd, nad yw hwn yn ymosodiad bresennol ar y Frenhynas fel person. Mae'r was yn hoffi ceisio ennyn pobl i wneud ymosodiadau personol neu i roi spin felly, er mwyn tanseilio o'n hachos ni. Nid ymosodiadau personol yw'r pwynt, rydym ymosod ar y sefydliad. Sefydliad nad sydd yn cyd yn ffurfio yn credodau democratiaeth na'r ffordd rydyn ni yn ceisio byw yn bywydau o fydd i fydd yn ôl egwyddorion gweriniaethol. I don't believe that we should have to justify as Republicans, uh, as Republicans time and time again that this protest is not an attack on the Queen as a person. The press like to try to get people to make per personal comments or to try and spin it that we are trying to undermine the Queen as a person, to undermine the cause that we have here today. Personal attacks are not the point. We are attacking the institution, an institution that does not sit easy with our democratic beliefs or the way we try to live our lives on a daily basis. That's why the Cymru and Barod were jubilee in a marvel PR or rather moyav and ran a television hinol. A grand voice of Wask and Compo Menule and Clodvory and television hinol. He question. Mohan and Mordo Geisha. Um, Grazio teimlad o brydeindod cyn bod y gemau lymbaidd y digwydd a ger mwyn sicrhau a fydd yn y ddyfodol i'r teulu frynhunol ar ôl dyddiau'r frynhunes yma. Mae'n arfodol i bod ni'n parhau i gwestiynu i fond y torwasg i gyfleu'n barn gweriniaethol er mae'n gwthio am balans yn y dadleion sydd yn digwydd nawr yn y cyfryngau bron pob dydd. The Jubilee 
is a massive PR practice on behalf of the royal family, and most of the press fall in place with nothing but praise for the royal family. This is a way, of course, of trying to embed a sense of Britishness in us as royal subjects before the Olympics take place, and to ensure that there will be a viable future for the royal family once the Queen's days are over. It is imperative that we continue to question, to monitor the press, to convey our Republican views, and to push for balance in the debates that are happening in the media now almost every day. Hard pressed councils are wasting money on bunting and celebrations. Children are allowed off school to wave flags, but when they want to go and protest, they're always disciplined. That is not what I call democracy. We have to show that there is an alternative, that we are entitled to free speech, and to show that the Republic in Wales is possible. And just to finish, Benjamin Zephaniah, as we all know, a uh, po poet famous for turning down an OBE, said in his poem about the rejection of that OBE, the ancestors were turning graves, those poor black folk that once were slaves would wonder how our souls were sold and check our strategies. The empire strikes back and waves, tamed warriors bow on parades, when they have done what they've been told, they get their OBEs. Yeah.